भगवान शिवानंद Excellency, the High Commissioner of India, Mrs. Raj Kanashiam, the Deputy Commissioner of India, Your Excellency, I greet you as well, Mr. Armstrong Changsen. Our Consul General of India, Mr. Rag Honathan. I'm getting there. The Patron of the Divine Love Society and President of the Sivananda World Peace Foundation, my brother, Mr. Ishwa Ramlichman. Our guest today, Dr. Casey Devaraj. I saw His Holiness Sri Swami Premanda uh, His Holiness Sri Swami. Nichal Miranda, getting there. I'll, I'm sure I'll, on this one, I'll get it right. <laughs> Can't say I look and I do. <laughs> right. Yeah, oh yes, no. <laughs> He's taking it too far. <laughs> and uh, my friend and a former colleague, Mr. Rem Maharaj, our guest, uh, Mr. Anup Jalota. Respected religious leaders, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I greet you in the name of peace and tolerance and bring you wishes from the provincial government for the success of today's function. We are meeting at a difficult time over the past week, xenophobic tensions pervaded Deben with reports of violent attacks 
on foreigners. Our Premier, the Honorable Mr. E. S. Mkunu, has condemned these attacks and he has made it clear that the hatred of fellow human beings has no place in our province. We promise those involved the strongest possible action. They will be visited upon with the full might of the law. We are a state founded on the Bill of Rights. We are against lawlessness. We send our deepest condolences to the family of those who lost their loved ones. The Premier in his many addresses to the public has reminded us that South Africa became a democracy through a negotiated settlement and that we would not have gained our freedom without the assistance and support of other countries. In this regard, I want to sincerely thank Mr. Ishwa, Ramdachman, and the Sivananda World Peace and Community Development Foundation for the sterling work they are doing in promoting peace. The Sivananda Peace Pillars Heritage Monuments that we have erected in South Africa will stand as a source of inspiration for future generations. What is, what is inspiring about your work, sir, is that these are living monuments as they are tied up with various communities' drive, including youth development and skills training. As MEC for Agriculture and Rural Development, I'm particularly impressed by your agricultural programs in rural communities and scholarship programs for the children. Peace is also about ensuring that our children do not go hungry to bed and that there is food security for the poor. The provincial government started a program of one home, one garden. My department is extending this to schools with the aim of having one classroom, one garden. The aim is to teach our children an appreciation of nature and healthy eating. As His Holiness Sri Swami Sivananda once said, open quote, if the body is strong and healthy, the mind becomes healthy and strong, close quote. I would also like to commend Mr. Rich Ram Lechman for the work he is doing in building social cohesion. Our province needs this now more than ever. He embraces all cultures, and during important provincial events, he can be seen dressed in his Zulu regalia. I urge you to continue with your good work in the spirit of the constitution of our country, which says that South Africa belongs to all who live in it and that we are united in our diversity. I attended the second Sivananda lecture last, last year here, and I feel privileged to be here today to learn more about Swami Sivananda and the Divine Life Society. There are lessons for all of us because your work is about saving humanity. The provincial, the provincial government is grateful to the society for the more than 300 projects undertaken that include the building of schools, hospitals, clinics, creches, old age homes, colleges, sewing centers, feeding schemes, gardening projects, as well as peace and skills, skills training centers. Many of these, ladies and gentlemen, are in rural areas where they are most needed. I would like to conclude with the words of Sri Swami Sivananda, who said, open quote, be tolerant, behold the unity of all faiths, cults, creeds, 
and religions. Respect the views, opinions, and sentiments of all. Close quote. Thank you so much.